Bonjour y'all! My name is Brita and today on Witches Unite I am doing a very brief overview of the New Brilliant event, um, Circus Calamitous, Calamitous Circus, hold on it's on my screen, Circus Calamitous, Circus Calamitous. So this is the Brilliant event that starts Tuesday, March 10th. Um, I'm not doing a full guide with like all the tasks and stuff. You can find all of the tasks at the article on Wizards Unite Hub in the description below, um, written by Matt Animagus. Um, I just want to give some quick advice on completing this brilliant event. Really quickly, flashing on the screen, are the tasks that you need to complete this week. They're here. You can pause this and read them, or you can go to the article on Wizards Unite Hub. So, to get through these quickly, go ahead and brew some healing potions, but don't collect them. That way you can collect them immediately when the brilliant event uh, begins to help you complete the first set of tasks. Now we're going to fast forward to the last set of tasks because that has an exciting, challenging task for you to complete, which is, I'm going to read this so I get it just right, um, win one wizarding challenge at highest unlock level. Now, I am filming this on Sunday night. This video is going up sometime on Monday as soon as I get permission from Warner Brothers. The reason this video is going up late and the article on the Hub went up late is the developers were talking about changing some of the tasks. It's possible that this that I'm about to tell you is the task that is getting changed, in which case I'll probably just cut all of this. Anyway, if you were like me, and you have unlocked Dark Five with other high level witches and wizards, but you normally play by yourself or with just one other person, this is going to be a challenge. So best case scenario, you plan a meetup in your local area, you get together with some other witches and wizards, and you knock out Dark Five together as a team. Worst case scenario is you just don't finish the brilliant event, but nobody wants that to be their scenario. So here is my plan with my husband, Dan. I am a professor and he is a magic zoologist. And both of us have a tendency to hoard potions, although he is worse than I am. Luckily, that's going to help us out because I think, maybe, hopefully, that the two of us can take out dark five if we use lower rune stones maybe level three rune stones and we both just use a ton of potions lots of healing potions because we cannot afford to get knocked out we don't have a magic zoologist to revive us um for me plenty of strong invigoration drops so i can get shields on both of us and proficiency charm out immediately and then i can start using my deterioration hex on any foe that neither one of us is proficient against. Whew, yeah, so that is going to be our strategy uh, just because we're pretty busy right now um, and my health is very, mm, so I'm not really up to driving an hour to play with other people and also expose myself to germs because I got sick the last community day, which is what happens when you're immunocompromised and you forget to use hand sanitizer before eating lunch. Anyway, that's just my little, my little side note. So go ahead and start thinking about your strategy. If you need to successfully complete a dark five and you might not have a group because that could potentially be the hardest task that we have had so far. I am excited about it. I do think it'll be a fun task, but I am a little nervous um, about 
needing to complete that uh, within the week time frame. I actually gave a little pushback on that as a task. So um, we'll see. Good luck, you guys. <laughs> Quick tip. Aloha Hamura is going to be boosted. That is the foundables that have to be, the confoundable magic has to be overcome by the Aloha Hamura spell. Um, those will be boosted. So that is Buckbeak, Demiguise, Erumpet, Fox, Mooncalf, and Thestral. If you're like me, you don't need most of those. Um, I definitely still need some more Buckbeaks, so that will be exciting. Um, if you want to take full advantage of the boosted spawns, um, but you've already like maxed out those traces, then work on prestiging those pages. Use those families of rune stones to try and get the uh, fortress exclusive foundables so that you can start over and start collecting the boosted foundables again. <laughs> For every brilliant event, I am always asked about some of the foundables. Where do I find these foundables? So if you look at my screen, I have put together um, a handy little graphic, which has also been shared on Twitter and Facebook, of all of the brilliant foundables and where to find them. The Circus Arcanus House Elf, you will need three of those. You find those by doing wizarding challenges with the Circus Calamitous Runestones. Skender the Ringmaster, you will need five of those, and he is found in Brilliant Port Keys. Remember, Brilliant Port Keys will show up as purple on the map. Oni, Oni, not really sure who that is. Um, he is a task reward. The Fire Breather is also a task reward. Brilliant Zulu and Brilliant Graphorn are both going to be encounters meaning you will find them on the map with their shiny little purple beams. All right, that is about all that I have for y'all today. One quick fun thing, I have recently launched my Witches Unite merch. You can see I'm wearing a Witches Unite t-shirt. I did adjust some of the colors. Uh, for example, this particular shirt is now available um, with hot pink text instead of white text for better contrast. Anyway, you can find a link to my store in the description down below. I would love if you supported the channel by buying your own Witches Unite merch. And I will have other fun merch coming soon. For now, we're just going with the basic text logo because that was the easiest. <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, what's all that other stuff you're supposed to do? Like subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment and share on social media and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I do really appreciate all of you guys um, who are supporting me. Um, your comments mean a lot to me. Um, just, you know, comments are like the currency in the content creation world. So just knowing that some of you care about my little pink corner of the world just makes my little heart grow and be happy and stuff. And uh, this is what happens when I film on Sunday night and I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, thanks y'all so much for watching. Until next time, au revoir, witches.